Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the stat man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the stat room. Woo! How is everybody doing out there this wonderful afternoon? Before I get into the wonderfulness in DFS, let me get into my positive word, and my word for this fine afternoon is bottom. How many people that's watching this video been rock bottom? See, when you hit rock bottom, that can come from losing your wife, losing your husband, losing your job, losing your car, losing your house, or becoming homeless. But there's beauty in being rock bottom. When you're rock bottom, there's no place to go but up. So when you're rock bottom, if you just stay believing in faith and start saying the right words out of your mouth, you can get back to the top. See, but ladies and gentlemen, the, word, the thing that hurts people the most is words. Words are very powerful. Like example, if you're rock bottom and you say, man, I ain't gonna never be nothing. You will never be nothing because you just spoke it into existence. You know, so when you rock, when you rock bottom, you have to over use positive words like I will. Instead of saying, I can't say not right now. Say not right now, you know, or, or maybe later or I will. That's, that's the two words I love the most is I will. I will be great soon. I will get out of this. I will persevere. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get out of your bottomness, change your thinking and change the type of words that you use. All right. So I'm going to leave it there with bottom guys. All right. Let me go right into my DFS. But before I do that, guys, let me introduce myself, guys. I am Vaughn the Statman. You can follow me on Twitter at Vaughn the Statman. And guys, check out my website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. All right, guys, so yesterday, my boomstick play of the night was Donaldson, and he didn't do too bad. He gave us 12 points. 12 points don't hurt your lineup in DFS baseball. You know, if he gives you a 3, that hurts. But a 12, not too bad. All right, guys, so I'm going to go right into the four horsemen. So today I'm giving you pitcher Gray. He has an ERA of a 6. He's facing his former team at home after the Yankees suffered their first defeat in 18 games. And Gray is a great pitcher, guys. He's going to want to show his old team that they made a mistake. I think Gray is going to have a phenomenal night. And yesterday, guys, the Yankees didn't hit a home run. So you know what that means today, right? All right, guys, so next I'm giving you outfielder Stanton. It's starting to warm up, guys. He has a batting average of a 2.38, nine home runs. Stanton is about to go on one of them six home runs and 10 games type stretches. He's only 4,900 guys. He's about to heat up. Um, I'm in the New York, New Jersey area. It's pretty warm outside. It's going to get up to about 75 degrees. It's going to be around that during the, the, the first pitch. So in that first inning, he could possibly send one then. Next, I'm giving you outfielder Trumbo from the Baltimore Orioles. The Baltimore Orioles are about to get on the win streak. That's why I'm wearing my team's hat because my team is back, guys. Um, the only reason why the Orioles started so slow was because Trumbo was hurt. Their shortstop is hurt right now. Beckham, he's hurt right now. Um, you had Scope Show, who was also hurt. He just came back. Trumbo led the he led the majors in home runs a few years ago. He's about he hasn't hit one yet this year. So I see him taking one out of the park today. He's only three thousand dollars. He's at home going up against Tampa. And Tampa Bay pitcher is coming off of two really good games. So I don't really like him to have three in a row. Next is my boomstick play of the night, and it's none other than Sanchez. Yes, guys, stack the Yankees tonight. I believe tonight, if you don't stack the Yankees, you might not cash. I can't remember a game this year where the Yankees went the whole game with no home runs. I mean, this is maybe the second game where they didn't have at least one. And I think Sanchez, who has a 262 batting average, nine home runs versus the Oakland Athletics. He's going against Graveman. And the Athletics had to travel across the country. Now, guys, I do a lot of traveling. If you travel from east to west, it's not as bad on the body. West to east, it's it's cool the first day. Like, if I travel from west to east today and I play a game, as soon as I get off the plane, I'm going to be okay. But when you go to sleep and you wake up, you're a step slow. Now, tomorrow, they'll be fine. But today, I think they're going to be a step slow. I think that the pitch is going to be a little off. So, guys, when you're um, when you're selecting your lineups today, guys, you're going to need to have a three-team stack today, which means that you got to find three teams that you love and stack the hitters that you believe 
will get you where you need to go. Today is not a day where you put one batter from each team because there's going to be some hits today, and there's going to be games where it's going to be three home runs by each team. So find the stack you like the best, and since you're – and also, guys, in DFS, you're betting on a human element. So you might have a lineup where all your guys hit. You know, MLB is a home run or steals league. You might not get home runs every day. So you might have 105 points, and you'll be like, oh, my God, my lineup suck. No, you just didn't get home runs. So, guys, don't be so hard on yourselves. DFS is grown people's fun. Like when kids go to Chuck E. Cheese, this is our Chuck E. Cheese. This is our NBA. This is our fun time, guys. So when you do it, only wager what you can be willing to, to, to lose. So play a couple 25-cent games until you get a feel for it. You know, play one $1 game. And then the next, like when you have a big win night, always bet super small. So like, say like tonight you win. You play $25 and you win 500 Tomorrow bet a dollar. That's what smart people do. When you win... Go light the next day. When you lose, go heavy the next day. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. I am on to tomorrow. So, guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And, guys, don't forget to think and think. That means write it down so that way it can come true. Love you guys. And you might have started from the bottom, but you'll rise to the top. Love you guys.